G'day everyone, how you going? Back in the shed again. Um, I've got another parts car, picked this up the other day. Um, so I got this thing from a dealership and um, it's been sitting there for about three years, roughly three years, and they've been using it for bits and pieces, you know, parting it out. They were, as, as it says on the windscreen here, parts out, then crushed. I've just been having a quick look over this thing and it's not as bad as what you might think. Uh, it's had a fair bit of stuff robbed out of it, but I found the throttle body. Um, and there's a gas that's probably fallen down. Found the fault throttle body. The only thing that's really missing to run is some core packs, which I do have a bunch of core packs on this uh, BA XR6 Barra. So I can rob some, I can rob some uh, core packs out of that. That's easy. What I do like about this car, plugs are still in it. So there's a pretty good chance that the bores are not full of water and uh, all rusty and horrible. It's got a good radiator. It's got the original Ford Thermo fan, which these are actually pretty good. So I'm thinking I might use that for the 80 series. Uh, everything's there. Cooling system's still holding fluids. Uh, it does have oil in it. Um, check the brakes or the master cylinder. Reservoir and it's pretty ugly, but there's still brake fluid in it. So, so as far as the engine bay goes, um, I reckon I could fire this up. I'll fire it up, I'll compression test it. If it's any good, I'll pull that motor. It's just going to have the epoxy four speed that they come out with behind it, but um, yeah, <laughs> it's still a transmission in it. Um, all the fuses, everything's there. Uh, what else? Okay, so let's have a look at it. The um, front headlights, yeah, they might clean up. They might be good for Facebook Marketplace. The grill is in perfect condition. So that you often don't see in, in good nick. The front bumper, yeah, it's... It's a, it's a little bit rough, but if someone's really, really wanting one that they're not too worried about, or they're prepared to punch a bit of a, a, a ding out of it, that's fine. The other headlight's good. Uh, once again, it just needs just needs a bit of a buff to clean that up. So then on the passenger side, front guards are in surprisingly good condition. The bonnet itself is in good nick. Dirty, but... Good neck, there is a little bit of surface rust just there, but you know, that's just nothing. It's got four good wheels on it with good tyres. With these, these tyres will be roadworthy. Also on the driver's side, we've got, you know, decent good condition rims and the tyres are actually in roadworthy condition. Uh, once again, it's another good rim. I don't know, there's H1, who makes these? Brand are they? Monbag. Probably a cheap Chinese import tyre, but you know, there's tread on them. They'll probably be good for um, a trailer or something like that. Passenger door has a shitload of rust, so that's scrap metal, but I might just strip everything out of that. These electric mirrors, if that works, um, they're worth a few bucks. The door shell itself is scrap. Rear door. Uh, a rear door looks in pretty good nick. It's, um, yeah, I mean, it's paint's not in great condition, but um, yeah, it's a freebie. Okay, so the door shell's been had something robbed out of it. There are door cards, both the I think that I think that there is the driver's door card. I think that's a passenger door card. I'm pretty sure there's another door card sitting in underneath. It also has the uh, engine header pipe with the catalytic converter still there. The uh, bonnet catch and that, that's pretty rusty. I'm not real interested in that. And the, yeah, the battery carrier, well, that's pretty well stuffed. It's rust, rusted out. What would you call that? That's the, the under bonnet pad, the sound deadening. That's in surprisingly good condition. Uh, a little bit quite not right. I oh, know, it seems right. It's just the rubbers come off it. So that under bonnet pad is pretty good. Let's move around here. The seats, 
Now, the primary reason I got this car, I decided to grab it was for the seats because I want to put, use these XR6 seats in the 80 series. There's two of them. They are missing the uh, control mechanisms of the thing. It's a bit rusty, but you know, we'll pull them out if they're any good. Well, actually, down there is the um, the wheel that goes on that bit there. Driver's passenger door. That's in pretty good nick. Surprisingly. I don't think there's a door catch in it though. Uh, door catch has been pulled out, but a, the shell's okay. And still has the glass. And does it have the uh, regulator? I think it still has a regulator in there. So I don't know if that works or not. We've got in here, okay. We've got door catch. Uh, these are usually stuffed, and this actually looks in reasonably good condition. Yeah, it's not broken. That actually looks pretty good. Oh yeah, all the all the door cards are there. Is there a seat belt in the front? I don't know. Is there a seat belt? This seat belt's still there. It's a bit stiff, but yeah, you get that. Rear bumper is pristine. Well, almost pristine. It's not full of dings and bangs and stuff. Inside the boot, there's a, uh, oh, the original jack still there. The boot's in surprisingly good condition. Um, oh, this quarter panel sounds rusted to the shit house. The rear wing is in good nick. It's a June 2007 build. Ford Falcon. XR6 So overall, um, there's a fair bit of good salvage out of this vehicle If this engine turns out to be good and we'll test it and see if it'll fire up We're in the money, so I'm not gonna I'm not doing this to, to keep it It's gonna be parts for sale. So if anyone's doing up on an XR6 or wants a barra um, I've got there's obviously this one which we'll soon find out whether it's any good or not I've also got that one over there, which I know is a, a good running motor yeah, there we go. Let's get into it. Let's uh, see if we can make this thing run. That's going to have to be in another episode. I might even try doing it live. But uh, for the next few days, I've got to go drive a truck. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Catch you. Bye. See ya. Uru.